Here's Bill at his workbench. He uses a 30 times magnification stereo zoom binocular microscope. It takes a variety of tools to do the insemination. It reminds me of a dentist's tray. The yellow cylinder contains carbon dioxide. It will be used to anesthetize the queen. This is the stand where Bill will place the queen. The white item in the foreground is the syringe pump. Bill has the queen mounted, ready to start. Carbon dioxide is flowing up the tube and around the queen, with her abdomen sticking out. Bill cleans out some poop with a piece of tissue. Did you try and clean it now? Yeah, I did. Now I've got to go back and find that stinger. He wants to grasp the stinger with the forceps. Where in the heck is the stinger? There it is. Now I just get this. I've got the sting. I like what I'm seeing. He's looking for a V-shaped region. It shows the location of the valve hole. He needs to bypass this to insert the syringe directly into the ovary duct. I'm going to put a little bit of... Saline right there. I think I've got it. The clicks are the syringe pump. He injects about 10 microliters of semen. I think that's it. Released it. Released her. He repeats the same procedure with another queen. Oh, yeah. I got it. Okay, now then. My back is a little tired. That's not right. I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah, it is. Okay, there's that one. Now, we need to... All done. Lights off.